Hey everybody, once again, this is James from South Texas RC and BRB Racing, and they weren't expecting that as they run away. Uh, today is Father's Day, and I am out here at the track, and we're going to have some major mayhem going on. We have got the Slash 4x4, and let me see if I can zoom in. All right. So what we've got is we've got the Slash 4x4, we have got the Rustler two-wheel drive, and we have the Outcast 4S. So Bethany will be driving the four-wheel drive Slash, that's Miss BRB. I am South Texas running the four-wheel drive Outcast, and Megan will be running the Rustler two-wheel drive. And of course, beginner driver with Megan, so she's running a 2S. Bethany's also running a 2S on hers, and I'm running minus four. They try to avoid the camera. Also, for Father's Day, I got myself a brand new tripod, so this is really helping out everybody to where I can maneuver around. I got, I'm not stuck with little buckets and boxes and crates anymore, and I can do the sneak sweep over with the camera lens there and catch them. All right, so I'm going to get everybody powered on and zoom in, and we're going to have some RC carnage. I'm going to go ahead and let them practice and get set up and learn where they want to actually be. I've almost been completely chopped apart in the chest by the two-wheel drive rustler because she got trigger happy. Looks like Beth's out there turned over somewhere. Oh, got some ramp action from Megan. All right, I'm going to get mine powered on and play with them here. I think she's trying to do an assist to help flip her sister over, but looks like that was a double flip right there. Double flipper. Looks like she is ready for you. We might want to take some of the ramps out. Oh, you got an antenna that's loose. Hang on. Let me fix your antenna. Wow. It looks like you've got something wrong with that truck, Beth. Like you already, I don't know. Well, I found what was wrong with the Slash. I hadn't upgraded her yet to the gray axles that Traxxas has put out. So that is definitely a must with a wild child driver. But fortunately, I still have scrap parts when I upgraded mine. So she blew this thing out right there. So I'm going to go ahead and get her back up and running. Be right back. Chase her with the camera. She corrected me. Why do you say be right back? You're supposed to say be what? Camera shy. BRB. Time for some field repair. Speaking of field, I think she just went out in the field. That nut is on way too tight. I'm going to have to get a different nut driver for that. Had to run inside and get the socket set. That thing was on there way too tight. So it's going to be a 7 mil. Pop this 7 mil off real quick. It's always good to have extra parts in a time like this. All right, 
So I'm going to basically pull off the uh, screw, pull off the axle, reseat a new one in there, and be done with it. In this case, I'm going to cheat because the inside axle is still there, and these were some old axles, so I'm just going to pull off the outside and slap this back together. So the inside of our axle is good, just the outside's bad. Stick that back on there. That back through the bearing. Of course, she has an aluminum hub, so on hers it needed some spacers. Make sure we get the spacers back on there. Get this pin back in here. Field repair. I haven't really had a chance to even play with mine yet. Kids and RC carnage. Tighten this back down, but not gorilla tight like it was earlier. And she's in the races. And the mad woman is off and running. I think she already sent it into the field somewhere. And now time for the outcast. They're trying to do another flip over out there. Oh! I think y'all just need to go pick them up. Clear the track. Oh yeah, this is just, this is horrible. Oh, this is carnage. There, they got it. I got it. Now all I gotta do is just not get run over. I think Bethany's out in left field somewhere. No. Right. Oh, flipper. I'm trying to... <laughs> Let me pull some of the ramps out. So I just had to do a second field repair on those uh, axles on the slash on hers. Because she got stuck under a ramp she's not used to having ramps out that are open up like that on the bottom side these were actually some old signs that were made of plastic and aluminum i was a bit them into a uh, really nice looking ramp they work out well but she got a tire caught and then popped another one of those axles and those were the black axles that traxxas had so y'all know about those that didn't work out too well so definitely tomorrow gonna run out and get her a set of gray axles for the rear she already has steel ones for the front and get her back bulletproof they went in to grab something to drink Cool down for a second and we'll run here a little bit more.
That's about as much time as I got to finally today running mine. I've been doing repairs on theirs. Actually, I should say theirs, just, just the slash with those bad black axles. And out in the bushes again. This is what we call the walk of shame. Where in the world did she land? Frightening. And these girls don't even have driver's licenses yet. Hate to see what their driving instructor is going to go through. Okay, that's an interesting race. <laughs> And down again. Now it's the inside of the uh, wonderful black axle. She did put it together last time. I think she had that slipper clutch a little bit too tight, so I adjusted her slipper clutch. To do that adjustment on a slipper clutch on these on the four-wheel drive, it's going to be this 8 mil right here. Use an 8 mil wrench, hold the drive shaft right here. I wound it out. I took it all the way full turn, closed, and then wound it out about a turn and a half, so that should be good on the slipper. I'm going to throw that axle in here. Like I said, it's the inside now that she broke, and get her back going. Are you ready? I think they gave a new, my daughters gave me, well, at least one of the daughters out here today, Bethany, has given a new word to Father's Day. She has deleted all of the other letters after the F in Father, and she's turned it into IX. Fix day. So like I said it was the inside of her axle that went this time, but definitely tomorrow I'm gonna pick up those gray axles, get her fixed up. Trash. And of course on this one it's a two mil for that top screw. And then we're gonna get in there that worm, which is gonna be the 1.5. Keeping these. He's back. I don't know why I'm keeping these. Now I don't know why I kept them. And just once again, everybody just snug them down, not splitting tight. And show you what's going on over here. She's having a blast messing with this dog. There's a little chihuahua there. She was fighting the chihuahua with the RC car through the fence. Hello. How's that make you feel? Fighting a chihuahua with an RC car. Nice. Nice. I'm out of power. And now she's out of power. So I've got to go in and go grab her a battery. Or not. All right, I got her slipper clutch set and got the axle in. I'm going to run it naked without the shell, though. They ran inside real quick, so. I get to play with the slash. I get to play with the slash. I guess they think I'm still working on the cars. <laughs> Went ahead and had that done a while back. Waiting on them. You know what I'm going to 
have a peaceful run here without them trying to run me over. This is the outcast that I got as a uh, pre-owned. And to be honest with you, those front shocks like to nosedive a lot. So as the factory shocks on there. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something with those shocks tomorrow too on the uh, on the outcast, do a little bit of an upgrade. Because I noticed with the jump ramps, it likes to nosedive and bury, and then <clears throat> the other day I didn't of course record that one either because it was just a disaster. I was playing with it. I hit a little bit of a pothole on some asphalt. Well, I wouldn't call it a pothole, it was more like a, a lip. And it slammed so hard that it ripped one of the axles out and it bent the motor plate. Of course, it's aluminum, so I was able to bend the motor plate back out. But uh, definitely those front, front shocks, I need to do something with them because they're dipping down. On the dirt, it's not gonna matter if it nose dives because it'll tear through it, but on asphalt, it's gonna tear it up. And same thing with this too, guys. Like I said, it was a pre-owned. I didn't really get in there and check it out either. And whoever had this truck prior to me, I think that's what mainly caused the motor plate to get bent and break the axle was because of the slipper clutch wasn't set. Definitely want to tension up those shocks, change them out with something a little more heavy duty because it bit the ground again. So everybody, and I'll take this off at the very end too and show you my new play toy that I have for filming stuff that I got for Father's Day also. So basically guys, uh, slipper clutches, main thing, make sure your slippers are not set too tight because I already told you about the outcast, it will cause absolute carnage. When she put her slash back together, that slipper clutch was too tight also, so I backed that back off again. And generally the way, like I said, you can set the slipper clutch by whining about it, turn and a quarter out, or take something like on the slash. For instance, I took the eight mil wrench, put it on there. Let me grab that and I'll show you real quick. Basically I took on hers, even I turned it back and it made it a little bit too loose. But once I put that, loosened it up, put the eight mil on here and it's kind of suspended, turn the truck on, and just lightly bump it until you feel it lodge the wrench and that way you know it's it's actually got a good set by turning it or you could actually take it put the wrench on there run all fours across the ground lightly and that would tighten that slipper clutch the appropriate setting uh, like on the outcast i went ahead and i ran that one about a one and a quarter turn out and it was too loose on that same thing on there it has where you can go through the act the uh, not the axle with the drive shaft with the allen key put it inside push the truck lightly until i felt it bind down and that seems to be the appropriate setting so will you put on your slipper nut or your screw and then push the truck slightly until you feel it bind and move your tool and that's the appropriate setting for a slipper clutch almost on every single model there's not really a hundred percent science of how to set up a slipper clutch 
but that's how I do it. So anyway. So anyway guys, I hope that information was helpful for you of how to set up a slipper clutch on a vehicle. Like I said, there's really no true method of doing it. That's just how I've been doing it. And before we wrap this video up because of doing repairs and then trying to run my truck and shooting the video, I have not really had that much runtime that I want to get, so we're gonna wrap this up. But I did say I was gonna show you the new piece of equipment that I am using that I got for Father's Day gift. So the, like I said, the original one was the height of this with some little tiny legs and that was it. And then over there was the planter bucket that I used to set it on top of. But this is the new guy to help shoot videos right here. And believe it or not, it is some really good quality. This was picked up over at a Walmart for about 34 bucks. And it comes with the attachment for your camera or for your cell phone or for a GoPro. So like I said, this is really sharp for the cheap price that it was. But anyway, guys, until next time, if you like what you see on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe, smash that like button, and hit that bell. So happy Father's Day, everybody, from South Texas RC and BRB Racing. We'll see you next time.